I'm overwhelmed with this exhibit and, and really what it means to me personally working for the NFL to be reminded of how much the military has played a part of the NFL existence. There's just so many stories and this has been an unbelievable experience to live it here in Stockton with this great exhibit. When you start, you start very low and I would just kind of watch the game, hold the, uh, the chains during the freshman game and sophomore game and, and varsity. And then the second year, they kind of pushed me a little bit to be a referee and, and do a little bit more on that. And and it's kind of how you get hooked in this thing. And and it was it was just a great journey. This whole cycle that we're going through now with uh, the game being so dangerous with concussions and everybody's talking about that. Do I let my kids play? All that kind of stuff that's going on. Certainly certainly a concern. But do you know that in 1906, the, uh, Teddy Roosevelt almost used an executive order to ban the game of football because it was too dangerous? How dangerous? In 1906, 18 fatalities. We gotta do something to get the word out that what he does ain't easy. And, and, and we have to we have to get people to understand that he's out there just trying to do the best job that he can and he's trying to be fair and he's trying to make sure that the game is played fair. There's about 160 to 175 plays a game, if not more, or roughly, and in about three, three second to five second bursts, the game play happens, really. And you have to be able to slow the game down in your mind, process it enough, and to, and to replay it back to make the decision that you trust something you saw happen. Unless you've done it, you don't understand it, officiating. And the reality is, is that when you are out on the field officiating the game, things happen so fast. I mean, when you think about it, you have one twenty-sixth of one second to make a decision. And you don't have time to factor in, was it the 49ers or the Bears? <laughs> was it Jerry Rice? Or was it Terrell Owens. You don't have time. And so you do, you, you, you judge a game or you make your decisions based on instinct and not uh, on whether or not you went to see the game as a kid or you grew up as a, as a fan. The officiating fraternity is a family. I mean, it's a family because only they understand each other's frustrations. And so you really get close to each other. My best friends, they're officials.